Thank you for joining us today. My name is Katie and I work here at Discovery Park of America in Union City, Tennessee. And today we are so excited to talk to you about everything agriculture. Our mission here at Discovery Park is to inspire children and adults to see beyond. And we do so throughout our entire museum. We have exhibits that focus on science, space, technology, natural history, science, and so much more. And soon we will have an exhibit that is focused on the innovation of agriculture. And we are so excited. So today I have president and CEO of Discovery Park, Scott Williams, and the director of exhibits and collections here at Discovery Park, Jennifer Wilds. Thank you both for joining me today. Sure. Yeah. So we are going to give our viewers today a little sneak peek of what's to come at this new exhibit called Agriculture Innovating for Our Survival. So we're just going to share a couple of fun facts and Jennifer, we'll start with you. So will you share with us how this exhibit came to be? Sure. Um, it's actually been a project that's uh, developed over several years, actually. Um, it started with um, a very generous uh, contribution from the Tennessee Soybean Promotion Board. Um, they were hoping that we would be able to upgrade our existing agriculture exhibit um, to tell a more modern story. Um, so from there, um, we started uh, you know, doing our own research on you know, what's actually happening in ag today. Uh, we met um, with farmers um, and other ag professionals and focus groups to kind of hear from them. Um, you know, we wanted to know you know, we wanted to be accurate about what we're talking about. We wanted to hear from them what they thought was important to discuss. Um, and we kind of just kept chugging along and uh, eventually decided um, it grew big enough uh, beyond our own means. So we um, have a, a Louisville based um, exhibit, exhibit design and fabrication company called Solid Light. Um, and they're the ones who will, are actually designing the exhibit and they're the ones who are going to build it and install it. Um, so that we can have that uh, ready and open uh, by December 5th. We're so excited. And where will this ag, ag exhibit be? It's going to be in the Simmons Bake Ag Center. Um, if you've been uh, here at Discovery Park before to visit us, um, it's a building that used to house our uh, antique tractor collection. Very good. And Scott, I think you're going to give us just a little bit of a sneak peek of what this might look like. Is that true? Yeah, absolutely. I am happy to share my screen and do a very quick sneak peek. I don't want to give it all away yet, but right. um, here is uh, the uh, current drawing of how um, it's going to be laid out. Uh, we're covering uh, topics like what makes a farm a farm, who is a farmer today, how innovation today will lead to our survival tomorrow. And so you can, uh, if you're in agriculture, you can kind of imagine what some of these uh, stories are that we're trying to tell throughout the exhibit. Here's a quick glimpse at what the actual exhibit will look like. Uh, it's very bright and colorful and modern looking. Um, and we're just really excited to get folks here to check this out in person and see what uh, Jennifer and her team have come up with. Awesome. So I got to ask from the renderings that you've looked at and all the, the research that you've done, what are you looking forward to the most in the agriculture exhibit? We'll start with you, Scott. What's your favorite? You know, the, my favorite part of the exhibit um, is the way that Jennifer and her team have brought in uh, real folks working in agriculture. So uh, whether it's through the photographs that they traveled around uh, the region taking of actual agriculture workers or the stories that we're telling throughout of the people that are working in farming today who are scientists, who are, who are communicators, who are uh, veterinarians, who are farmers who are actually working um, um, on farms. Um, to the YouTube videos of people who are using social media to communicate agriculture today. There's a lot of folks out there using Instagram, uh, using uh, Twitter um, and uh, TikTok to advocate for farming and agriculture, all the way to the champions of agriculture who have contributed uh, money to, uh, to this whole cause. So to me, this, this is about all of us coming together to communicate um, innovation in agriculture to the children and adults who visit Discovery Park who may not know a lot about agriculture today. Thank you. And because being from the big city, I didn't even know, you know, I just thought my food came from the freezer. 
That's so, right. So it's just going to be a really neat um, opportunity and exhibit to teach people that your food doesn't just come from the freezer. It's got to come from the ground and they've got to, you know, shuck the corn and all that. So I'm really, I'm personally really excited about this. Um, is there, is there a section Jennifer on shucking the corn? I don't know if I remember seeing corn shucking. No, no. <laughs> I might have to do a live demonstration. <laughs> Jennifer, what about you? What about, um, what's going to be your favorite piece of the exhibit? Um, that would have to be, um, I think it's going to be a lot of people's favorite. Um, through, we, we do have a historical section where there will be about five pieces of older um, farm equipment. Um, but we're also going to have, um, through the support of H&R AgriPower and Case IH, they are going to provide us with a modern day um, Case Magnum tractor. And it's just going to be so cool, so impressive, um, especially having the older tractor next to it to really see the differences. But um, I think that's really going to be a favorite of everyone. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it as well. I didn't even know about it until this meeting. <laughs> um, Scott, I did want to ask a question uh, to you. Why is it so important that we have this exhibit permanently on display at Discovery Park? You know, um, a lot of folks um, come to visit Discovery Park and don't know exactly what they're going to experience. So they experience space, history, art. It's like a cornucopia of ideas. And we want people to come here and get inspired and energized. So I think being in an agriculture community like we are, I think this is a great opportunity for us to take that and all the people that live in this region that work in agriculture and put that in a place where people can come here and be inspired to learn more. Um, we certainly can't tell the entire story of agriculture here in this one little space, but we can trigger something in our visitors who can learn one little thing and maybe then go out um, and, and dig and learn a little bit more. I personally have learned so much about agriculture through um, the work that Jennifer and the folks at Solid Light have been doing. And so I'm just super excited for other people to get here and learn as well. And I know that it took a lot of fundraising to um, have this exhibit. So, and one of those ways that we've raised money is through inviting people to become a champion of ag. So Jennifer, would you mind telling us how people can become champions of ag and what it is to be a champion of ag? Sure, if um, there's someone who wants to contribute to the exhibit, um, it doesn't matter what the amount is, they can do so on our website um, and they become a champion of ag. So within the exhibit, um, we have a section dedicated to this where you can um, choose, you, you will get recognition. So you can choose, it can just be your name, it can be in the memory um, of someone in your family. Um, but we want to um, really express our thanks for, for anyone who's willing to, to be a part of this with us. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for your time, for just to give us a little sneak peek of the new ag exhibit that's opening this December 5th, 2020, Agriculture Innovating for Our Survival. I'm super excited. I know the whole team here at Discovery Park is, and just people in this area and uh, around the world. So thank you for your time today. And for more information, you can visit discoveryparkofamerica.com slash agriculture. Thank you.